Hello, and welcome to Pi. Projects, ideas, and experiments. Uh, this is going to be a, my like, technically a different video than I normally do. Of course, I haven't really done that many. Um, I'm not using the microphone. It has issues sometimes, so to keep things a little simpler, I'm just uh, using onboard microphone. So hopefully, it goes all right. Um, so today. Um, there is a company local to me called the Bio Dude. Uh, anybody that is interested in aquariums, terrariums, reptiles, amphibians, aquascaping, small landscaping, it is a great place to go. Um, they actually had a sell today. Um, the but you know with my recording schedule editing and uploading who knows when this video will get out it is currently was it july 8th today 9th something anyway um i don't know when this will, will come out um but anyway so uh they actually had some uh cool things and i was actually wanting to go there anyway saw that they were having a sale and uh the place is awesome let me give you a quick look let you uh see what they have obviously background conversations i'm talk lower than normal uh which is anyone who knows me is very very difficult uh for me to do um so anyway uh here is a uh, bio dude in or i should say the bio dude in webster texas uh, right off of Highway 3. And uh, if you're ever in the area, it is definitely one of my new favorite places to go. I've watched them a lot on YouTube. And uh, they were nice enough and let me do a little bit of filming in there. Again, I'm not very great at it, but, you know. Here it is. Take a look. Yeah, same. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Why? 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 All kinds of isopods. That is awesome. Of course, little springtails. Little springtails. That is awesome. All sorts of terrarium plants. It's like a mini garden center. This is awesome. Different ferns. Different air plants. Oh, this is awesome. Excuse me. Cool. Another little ferns. Different types of pothos. These little ones down here, probably getting those. These are awesome. I am so happy I found this place. Anyone in the Houston area knows, or should know, Bio Dude. Promotes natural terrariums for all your, all your little critters. Oh, look at the little baby dragon. That is awesome. All kinds of rocks. If you want a skull. That's awesome. Different stuff for terrariums. Aquascaping and landscaping. This is awesome. A little bit of dragon driftwood. Mm -hmm. 
kinds of driftwood. Various products, some local source, some obviously from companies. Fluval plant lights, some of the best ones. I love those. All kinds of lighting. More driftwood. Cork bark. Manzanita. Oh, given so many ideas. All kinds of stuff to put in. Bioactive terrariums. So many cool little setups. Oh, look at this one with the waterfall. That is awesome. All natural. I want the small neon tetras on there. That is cool. Awesome paludariums. So with all the cool things that they had, um, <laughs> naturally I uh, came home with a little bit more than I meant to. I was only going for isopods and springtails, and uh, well, I got a few more things. I have a, a new uh, fluval plant light. Uh, I was actually lucky enough because this was 50% off. They uh, ha had a good amount of stock apparently, and in addition to their 20% off sale they had in store, again that was today only, so by the time this goes up obviously that's not applied, so. Um, but this, the stuff that was outside was, uh, which I unfortunately didn't film, uh, but these were outside, and uh, they were 50% off. You can set intensity, you can time, and of course everything's through your phone. Um, they're, they're really great. And uh, now I get to add it to the terrarium, which is the topic of today's video. I know, long intro. Of course, technically not an intro, but the explanation something anyway uh so let, let's see what else i got so again the company is called the bio dude um they again have all kinds of stuff and this is actually a goodie bag that they were giving out today during their sale and uh apparently not too many people wanted the goodie bag so it was only supposed to be for the first 20 people and uh, they were nice enough and gave me one um so that was pretty cool uh, friendly staff, uh, knowledgeable staff, of course people walking around with their, you know, snakes and little baby alligators and stuff, so that was awesome. Uh, let's, uh, take a look into the bag of goodies that I have, uh, brought home. So, I have the powder orange isopods. Uh, just little little cleaners that will get in there and uh, clean up the terrarium. Move this out of the way. Again, another nice little cleaner thing. Springtails, and they'll get in there and clean up all kinds of stuff. And uh, these are the tropical variety. They also have arid variety for your uh, more, um, obviously, arid condition um, terrariums and paludariums. Here's a nice little plant. It is a club moss. Well, whatever. Anyway, I thought it looked really cool. So I'm going to add that to my terrarium. I was not planning on buying plants. Well, I thought I might, but wasn't really the plan. I also was not going to buy the light. These two things were the only things I was going for. And uh, between sales and awesome varieties and, you know, window shopping and project idea-ing, um, I came home with more than I put. And then a nice little, uh, little fern here, an autumn fern. Um... Nice condition, nice little size pot, and uh, yeah, so that's going to go in the terrarium too. Hopefully, it don't get you know too terribly big. 
uh, we'll, we'll have to find out. Uh, okay, so let's see. Here is a, a Bio Dudes ticker. Oh, I didn't know that there was already a sticker. I had grabbed an extra. So I have two Bio Dudes stickers. Uh, some card about. Oh, veterinary care for reptiles. And so that's pretty cool. Uh, you don't normally think of taking a reptile to the vet. Uh, oh, wow. Oh, that's cool. I didn't even know. Okay, there's some good stuff in this box. Uh, bag. All right, I could actually put that in the terrarium. I was not expecting to have anything like that. That is, that's cool. All right. Plans have already uh, changed some. Cool. Uh, another Bio Dude sticker. That's like his main logo kind of a deal. Uh, not exactly sure what this is. It's a tape measure. A little retractable tape measure. That's pretty cool. Little promotional goodie bag type stuff. Is that a... Oh, is this a like a pin? I think this is a pin light. Oh, I'm going to turn this this way. Not exactly sure. It is. It's a little light. Ah. That is cool. So you can get in there and like try to see your little critters and whatnot. That's pretty cool. Uh, of course, everybody needs a good clicky pin. Test to click. Yes, classmates in school hated me because I would just do this a lot. Anyway, uh, enough of that. Uh, little pamphlet on bioactive terrariums and paludarium substrates and all that. And then let's see what else we got. Uh, we got a nice little card here. Uh, if you want to I guess pause that and uh, get their information. And uh, n n another card here. Again, they uh, and then this is nice little reusable tote bag. Oh, so uh, yeah, that's uh, was my trip for today. And uh, I'm actually really excited about this one. I know it's just a thermometer and. Uh, hygrometer, which basically tests the humidity, but uh, I don't have, I've never had anything like that, so that'll be a cool thing to play with. So, uh, now is the time. Uh, I'll, sh I'll show putting in the plants and the isopods and the springtails, put all the stuff I got today over in the terrarium. If you happen to have any sort of reptile, amphibian, you know. Snakes, frogs, lizards, geckos, bearded dragons, alligators, even fish. Um, turtles, of course. Um, the best thing you can do is have life plants. That's what's in my aquariums. That's what I'm building this terrarium for. Not that I'm going to have anything living in there. Can at the moment. Um, but have life plants have the little things that clean it up and keep it natural it's even on a fish tank it's better to have live plants than it is to have fake plants sure you're going to go through some trial and error some fish are going to like to nibble on stuff um same thing with terrarium plants some things are going to nibble but it's the best way to care for pets is to keep things as close to natural as you possibly can plus it limits the amount of maintenance you have to do. It limits the upkeep and all that. 
makes everything a bit more simpler to manage and take care of. And again, you get add greenery and it cleans the air and cleans the waste. You know, whether it's whether it's uh, fish poo or snake poo, whatever it may be, plants will absorb the nutrients naturally cleaning it um, just bioactive terrariums aquariums and paludariums it's one of the best things you can do and this is my 20 gallon terrarium um, as some may have seen in a previous video I have some plants in here that uh, produce little little air root babies and uh, yeah so this is the, the terrarium and see all the the old dead stuff down at the bottom that is the entire point of the isopods and springtails they will take care of that they will keep this nice and clean plus I have a couple other plants I will be moving a few things around and, let me shut this real quick, move that off of here into my pile of junk that sits in front. Um, anyway, uh, this is the light that came with the 75 gallon aquarium. Um, it's a marine land light. It's done great. I mean, the, the plants do grow, but, you know, there's always room for improvement. Um, that and I just have to plug it into a just plug it into a timer because I have there's literally no control there's a switch here I can turn it off or I can turn it to blue that's it blue off bright white that's it so uh, that was another point of the getting the light I've actually been wanting to get another fluval light for a while and uh, yeah so and I'm, I'm very surprised that uh, that they carried the light. I've actually been ordering it from uh, the other two I have. I ordered from an aquarium co-op. And because uh, they were the only place I could find that they had them and would ship them. Um, I didn't know Bio Dude. Again, I didn't know the Bio Dude. Uh, had them. So I could have actually had this sooner. But had I gotten it sooner... I wouldn't have saved 50% on the sale today. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, just uh, get you a nice fluval light uh, plant spectrum. They also have ones obviously for marine life and everything. Uh, specific wavelengths and features and whatnot. And uh, that is uh, my go-to light uh, for any aquariums or terrariums. So anyway, we... Uh, I'm going to take care of taking this light off, putting the new light on. Um, I'm not exactly sure how to do pairing and setting up, like, to be able to show you. I mean, I know how to set it up. I already have two lights. I have programs for it and everything. But I don't know on the editing side of things how to show you what it looks like. Um... You can, it can be as simple as you want or as in-depth as you want. Color intensity, there's like five or six different color of, in the lights you can choose from. They're great. Um, I just don't know how to show it to everybody on here. Um, so, take my word for it. Once I get it set up, it'll look nice. Maybe. Well, oh, it It'll look natural. Which, natural beauty should always be the way to go. But if that was the case, certain industries wouldn't exist. Anyway. Um, let's get this, uh... Figured out how to set this up. Alright, um... Hopefully this is coming through. Um, well, you can't see me. Um, I'm here. Uh, anyway, let's uh, get started taking this off. I know the, the, the lighting's not very good. 
uh, not my normal filming situation, which is already sub ideal. This is sub sub ideal. Sub ideal squared. Anyway, um, yeah. So montage. Fast forward. Something so you don't have to sit here and uh, just watch me do everything. Put it on fast forward and uh, then show you the end result. Okay. Don't want this to break. Because that would suck. Yes, it would. Let's, let's put some plants in first. Hopefully it's not too dark. Gonna put one of the plants in right there amongst some roots and some uh, some old potty mix. We're gonna put in this one club moss. I don't really know how to pronounce the name. Um, I'm just gonna, well, it's a, it's a plant. I'm gonna take it out of the container and dig a little hole and stick it in. Plant in the ground. Looks like the soil's good. Let's uh, tease that up a little bit. And it all falls out everywhere. Of course. I don't really have a lot of dirt in here. Uh, this tank was actually never meant for this. It was just kind of a thing that kind of happened. As with most things in life. I think that's how I got here. And it's down and uh, may not be the best way, but it's the way that I did it. And then I think in the fern, I'm going to stick over in the opposite corner. Now my hands are messy. <sighs> anyway, uh, let's just, uh, I'm just going to dig this out a little bit, scooch everything. Hmm. Scooch. And again, an autumn fern. Again, soil's really good. Just gonna dump the little excess in there. Tease it up a little bit. Of course, it's nice and damp. That's good for survivability. Get that turned a little bit. Try not to crush the leaves too much. Pat it on down in there. Of course, everything else I have in here will uh, do what it does. And probably take over. I imagine there's stuff already in here that I don't know about. But that's, uh, that's nature, even inside a house. Of course, now that I thought about it, I should have put the light on first. That would have produced the light needed. For y'all to see what was going on, because y'all probably can't see anything. One thing I will say about these flu lights, um, they have these cords, obviously, connect with a light, but then the power brick has this. My only guess is that it's so you can run it through, like, in small places or something under your tank, um, but as, I guess so you can have different adapters. Okay, never mind, I think I just answered my own question, but it is still a little annoying. Build off a sticker that says hot surface, do not touch. I can say that 
the surface of these, when it's on full brightness, will get fairly fairly warm. Um, I actually have a cool idea to go along with that, maybe a future video. <laughs> um, but uh, I've actually set seed germination trays on top of these instead of it using a heating pad. Actually keeps them a little cooler and keeps the seeds warm. So uh, that's also pretty cool. Anyway, I don't know if uh, this has any better visibility. Uh, let's see if I can change the 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 angle of the cinematography. Okay, so there's the fern in that corner. There is the uh, some sort of moss, whatever whatever it was called again. There's all my fig ivy and other plants. Trying to balance this camera, my phone, my tripod on here to get the better shot, and it's not wanting to cooperate. Imagine that. All right, that should be a a decent little angle there. All right, so first up are going to be these uh, isopods, powder orange. Uh, orange is my favorite color. It's literally the only reason I chose them. Um, and uh, they're a nice little description there. And uh, we're going to dump them in and see what happens. See all the little critters in there. I'm literally just going to dump this in. Uh, and uh, they will find their way through. And, uh, Keep things clean. I was gonna dump them right here in the middle. And uh, they will maneuver around. And... All right, here is some springtails. Tropical, as in humid environment. Uh, there's some sort of rocks or something in here. Um, I'm just going to dump these over off in the corner. These are also supposed to do pretty good at a uh, population regulation. So uh, let's uh, continue on and see what it looks like. See, most people would look at that and go, oh my god! But they are wonderful things for nature. Let's get them in before they crawl out. <laughs> and uh, now we'll set up the thermometer and hydrometer. Hi. Hygrometer. Thermohygrometer for temperature and humidity. Honestly, this was a great little freebie. Um, that is something that is really nice to have. Um, in all honesty, now that it's got to affect how I maintain this, this is, I pretty much spritz, spritz this uh, tank with a bit of water about once a day, every few days. And uh, that's, that's about it. So this will actually be kind of cool to see how th that does affect it. Uh, there's a little bit of an air gap. Uh, but no real airflow. There's no fan in here or anything. Um, but yeah. Let's uh, see what this is like to install. Shouldn't be too bad. It's a nice little display. But there's no way to mount it. So that's a little weird. Uh, I, guess, I don't know if it's supposed to be towards the top, towards the bottom. I don't know, so I'm just going to have it kind of, I can't really see it, um, I'm just going to take, where is it at, there it is, a uh, little sensor here, let me actually stick it on the other side, back over here, I'm just going to stick that in there, and um, see if that 
does anything. <sighs> um, so anyway, the uh, thermometer doesn't come with the battery, so I'm going to have to get a battery. This I mean no big deal. We're going to get the uh, lid back on. Alrighty. Alright, so there is moss. Here is the pile where I put the isopods. Uh, there's the pile where the springtails are. Hopefully they spread out pretty quickly. Obviously there's the fern. And, uh, uh, I don't know if it's really going to be visible. Let me tilt this a little bit. There is the sensor for the thermometer and hygrometer when I get um, a battery for it. I think I have one that works, but I'm not sure if it's compatible. Uh, different battery names and whatnot. So, uh, yeah. This concludes uh, my terrarium upgrade. Again, springtails and isopods are always a great thing to have. Added a couple of new plants. Uh, if anything is massively changes or you know whether it's beneficial or catastrophic uh, I'll give an update um, until then thanks for watching pie be smart stay safe have fun plants so good night